Generals, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a, another Tank vs. GLA. Wait, no, no, we did Tank vs. USA. We haven't done Tank vs. GLA. No, we haven't. No, this, this is the new one. So, Rage, up the top is our, our, our China tank, and size down the bottom is our GLA vanilla here for the 2014 World Series. 1.4, this is the grand final. Rage absolutely loving the Aqua Wearer size, playing it safe with the red. I agree, I'm a red man myself here. Red man. Yeah, red I'm, man. I'm a gold guy because I'm a winner. I also so. like how there's no G-Lake Toxin. Yeah. Yeah, but definitely baller points and gentleman points going to Rage and Size to... I don't know, because I think it's probably like random, for, forced random, like unless they can pick a faction. They're all deciding to go these factions and it really is actually providing us with some GGs. So, excellent work here from Size going for his forward tunnel. Mad Rage, of course, going for his double factories. Not at all surprising. This is, of course... Uh, TD, no bugs, no cars. No, no, no demo cars in the middle there. Excellent work indeed. No cars. Meaning that the the, G, the China is not forced into a certain playstyle in order to nullify those cars and then not lose their doses as a result. Exactly right. So Double War Factory now coming out from Rage. And just some tunnel networks coming out See, from See, the science. question is, yes. like, what yes, buildings sir. what buildings do the China tank go for? No, the question is, what what are the first two units? Yeah. Now, Rage going for the the double flame tank. Again, going for the all denies is uh, very, very important, but it can leave you open to the tech, tech terror, terror or the tech RPG harassment. But Gat moving out just in time, going for the power, very, very safe. Not sure if that was a reaction because of the Gat, but nonetheless, a definitely a good way of ensuring that you do the damage and not get countered. The terrorist, nope, the tunnel will get taken out by the flame tank. That it will indeed. It also allows you to get out a little bit faster. It tends to be the, the terrace, not the technical, that delays your tech terror. So if you know you have to make three terrace instead of Ooh. four terrace, it can be a little bit better. So Two same. technicals yeah. against the flame tank here. Taking a while to take it out, but they're very, very fast. Got to be careful to get caught by the flame wall. There we go. Flame walling right down. Taking that down straight away. Incredibly quick. Very, very potent. Australian tanks are in here. We'll have another flame wall coming out. No, just a, a targeted ability. Auto attacks. Nice. Okay, right. So Rage is just starting to take control during this game. He's got his oh. flame packs moving in. Does find the tunnel network in the middle. That's going to be fantastic. Scorpions being mixed in. Excellent choice. The scorpions are amazing against the flame tanks. Technical just not, but will take down a flame tank right there and a flame wall. Instantly killing the technical here will definitely lose the tunnel in the process, but will lose the gat as well. The flame tank on the side. Going for the scorpion and not for the tunnel, so he may keep that tunnel alive. He's trying to kill the scorpions, yes, and he keeps the flame oh. tank alive as well. Nice, nice job there. Actually, does more damage than you think of against tanks. It's a little bit surprising. Yeah, so. well, scorpions are pr incredibly weak, so they do actually die pretty fast. Okay, so Rage has been playing very, very aggressive with these flame tanks now. They're doing a great job, so they'll be pushing out down the middle now. Size so just looking for some more technicals, but being forced off by the sheer amount of their two battle masters. This seems to be the best way to play tank versus yeah. GLA is just like flame tank and battle master spam rather than going for like Gatling yeah. battle master. That's, that's sort of Super aggressive. what I would expect. You know, Gatling's a, a better at, at long range. You know, but anyway, doing pretty well for himself. No outposts being mixed in. The China tank outposts they're pretty expensive. You don't really need them when you have the vet two battle masters going for the third supply as well. We'll give Rage a nice supply lead. Yeah, this is nice. It's being very, very hyper-aggressive. And before the Scorpions actually manage to get their rocket upgrades, which is the important factor here. But can they take out the Flame Tank? Look, they probably can. The Flame Tank needs to back away because that Flame Tank allows him to take out buildings incredibly fast. Terrorist on the chase. Flame Tank can deny that one, though. I may get the, the false fire, though. It's getting very, very close. No Flame Tank's going to take it out. Nice work there indeed on this side. Flame tank, fantastic, taking out a lot of these workers. Just a little bit too far back, only killing half of them. Even the tunnel and the supply getting quite low. The technical and the tunnel will take that one out before a lot more damage can be dealt. Going for the supply. oil derrick on this side is nice, but here come the scorpion rockets. Scorpion rockets aren't out now, but horde bonus battle masters they'll be facing off against. Looking to fire their rockets and move back away into the tunnels, but no, miss the tunnel. Instead, going for the RPGs on the side, and the Gats are a little bit out of position here. Fantastic play, though. The Gats in front. So the Gats are dying to the Scorpions, whilst the Battle Masters were dying to the RPGs. That's exactly the engagement you want to find here. But the army is just so big. But only one of these Gats are left. That's very, very crucial for the anti-infantry. Vet 2 Battle Masters do have their regenerating health, and, of course, the Horde bonus. But now no Gats left. 
will be quite vulnerable to the RPGs, but Flame Tank killing the Sublime on the tunnel on the side. It's gonna be alive, and this is just huge aggression coming out so far from Rage. Just gonna keep fighting those Scorpions, but it's nice. Uh, nice micro from Size in that he's moving in and out and only wants to engage when he's got the rockets available. Yeah, but look at that great kiting from Rage. Yeah. He, cuts the, he puts the, the weak Battle Master behind so it can repair its health with the Vet too, whilst the full health Battle Masters are in the front taking the damage from those Scorpion rockets. It's very, very nice, but... That's a huge Battle Master army, and I don't know how many RPGs are there, there are from size. Doesn't look like this. Going way too far deep in, losing three of them in the process. Didn't need to commit that far. Only one flame tank. RPGs would be very effective against the Battle Master spam here. So it looks as though size having a pretty poor angle. There's just so many of the Battle Masters. But Terrace moving on to the side. The flame tank, though, not sniped in time. The flame tank. Oh, if that was sniped. The terrorist would have had a very, very fun time. Tunnel being denied. No evac for the scorpion. And this is not looking good at all for size because all these scorpions are just dying. They are too vulnerable to the Vet 2 Battle Masters. All of them with the Horde bonus. The tunnel goes down. The barracks goes down. And Rage just keeps pushing on. Three and four supplies as well. Size once again getting the spanks pretty hard. Rage really? playing that one well. What do you think went wrong for size? I think the issue there was Rage just played hyper-aggressive. Taking out the power, sure, I mean, that slows down production, but it doesn't stop it. I think <laughs> by going for that, the, the Detect Terror, it does, it's a, it's a big investment, and, it, and it's a big investment quite early, unless you can really, really get it to pay off. Um, it, it leaves you vulnerable to that just sheer aggression coming out from trying to tank. Really, really cheap. Um, just the Battle Masters, Vet 2 Battle Masters, and Gats and Flame Tanks coming out, so... It was just, Size just couldn't deal with the, with the flame tank. I think the other issue as well is that Size built about five technicals. Yeah. And they just kept dying. They just kept dying to flame tank. They didn't do anything. And five technicals is worth like 2,500. That's the equivalent of three or four tanks. So I think Rage just had too much of an army because Size not only threw away a lot of those... Um, those technicals, but also he kept losing the scorpions because he didn't have rockets early enough. So Rage just had that early lead that just capitalized very well, and then, excuse me, by the time Rage had his third supply, it was just too late for Size yeah. to come back from that one. So a 4-3 lead to Rage. 4 three to yes. Rage, and that means he is on the match point. If he wins the he next is. game, he is the victor. Mm of our tournament. We'll move on to game number eight, eight, which we actually originally recorded, and what we thought was game number two. So, it was game number eight, but it, it, we thought it was two. So, anyway. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll go back to you in the grand final, then, after casting the eighth game. Very good. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to game number two between Size and Rage for the 2014 World Series. One two thousand four World Series for zero one point four. We are of course the general gentleman. I'm Mark and Hawk, and I'm Orange Machine. And Size will be up the north on his yellow China tank, whereas Rage will be at the bottom as his GLA Vanilla. Very 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 nice. So it should be a nice little matchup here. We did see Size take away game one in a, a very intense forty minute long GLA Vanilla versus GLA Vanilla matchup. So Size is one zero up in this series so far. But he still has a lot more to win if he wants to take the series in the end. Size so going for his double back supply. Sometimes you see China's go for like the forward supply and have like the trucks using to deny workers and whatnot and tunnels. Bear in mind there is no uh, demo oh, demo cars because they are an absolute broken joke. So removing them makes the game less unbalanced, which is nice. So double factory coming out of size. I said double factory when I saw one factory, because let's be honest, what else would a China tank do? Well, that's pretty much exactly what you're going to see every single game, is the double factory opening, double supply, double factory, move out the dozers to see if there's any really aggressive workers, move them back into safety, very standard start. It's what comes out of them that's interesting. Double flame tank here for Rage, so cool, cool for size, sorry, cool idea. So it's really good to deny tunnels and whatnot, but it means that you can be pretty vulnerable to fast tech terrors and tech RPGs because you really want a GAT to deny those sort of things. But it will definitely clear out the middle, and that's exactly what Rage went for. Rage went for the really forward tunnel garrison play, which is going to be absolutely hard countered by the flame tank, so it definitely will pay off for now. 
So Side Terrace looking for Dozers, but not going to find any. So I definitely think if Size can deny the tunnels, probably not going to be able to, though, with that Scorpion there. Yeah, Scorpion's a nice transition here from Ray. He's going to take out that one straight away. Gap moving in to take care of the tunnel. Maybe just detonate on the audio could be nice. Yeah, that would be to take it a little bit lower for now. No, just going to get taken out by the Gap in the end. Flying Tank drives away, and here come the Vet 2 Elite, I believe Vet 2 was referred. Yeah, Veteran yes, Elite Heroic. Yeah, Veteran Elite Heroic. Elite Battle Masters here. So they're going to be very, very cost effective against those Scorpions and will definitely back them away. Will indeed. But nice tunnel networks coming out from Rage, really focusing down this middle and locking down his oil derrick as well. Yep, so for now, Rage hasn't got his third supply or his fourth supply, but it looks as though Rage wants to get that oil cap. Yeah, Rage definitely looking for that one, and that's a nice flame wall as well. It's going to deny any movement from RPGs and Scorpions on the side. Also, see side's going to be scouting out uh, that worker there, and Rage decides to back off, in fact, because the uh, the tunnel networks were so low, and that's a really, really nice movement coming out from size. He's all over the place. Rage trying to go for a sneaky tunnel placement, but Sai scouts it. He knows it's up there and pushing through with a nice mix of flame tanks and battle masters is fantastic. You generally see Gats and battle masters, but the flame tanks are just so effective against that many RPGs. Yeah, and they're vulnerable, invulnerable themselves to flames. You can just keep moving them up. But one of them will get taken out by the Scorpion. That's going to be nice. Several RPGs did go down, as well as the tunnel networks in the middle there for Rage. Yeah, the other issue is Rage does not have his Scorpion rockets just yet. So once he do, what does, he will have a pretty big power spike against those flame tanks. But for now, the flame tanks are surviving for a while. The Scorpion's not having a lot of DPS without the rockets. Yeah, they're forcing off all of the uh, all of the RPGs in the center. They're getting taken out themselves, but it allows the army from uh, size to just keep pushing. And the, the Vet 2... The heroic battle, the no, not heroic. In the elite, uh, elite, nice. And machine battle masters are just so much better than the scorpions without their rockets. It's Especially ridiculous. with the horde bonus that we did see, it's worn off for now. But there are the scorpion rockets. Things are gonna be a little bit too late now. Gats have been mixed in, and flame tank once again denying tunnels. That garrison can actually be destroyed because it's the no bugs version of TD, where normally that garrison you can't like kill it from the low ground with a flame tank or I think toxin tractor as well. But third supply from size playing this one absolutely brilliantly. Throwing down a listing outpost as well is going to be nice and moving away because the rocket transition has now come out from Rage. He's going to be looking to snipe down some units. We could see size go for helixes would be the best way of dealing with that. But he doesn't really need to deal with that. He can just he can just have his third supplies and just sit around content with his bigger army and, and map control. Yeah, that's exactly what he can do and just keep forcing down all of these tunnel networks. His movement has been great so far, and the scorpions may get caught out of position. No, gonna back off from this one. Still the old Derek though from Rage will give him just a little bit more cash, but this is an absolutely ridiculously huge army of size. He's got battle masters, flame tanks, gats mixed in, and I like the scout post on the side. It means that he knows if a tech terror or a sneaky worker is going for a tunnel. Exactly right. So big push coming in through the middle there. Some flame tanks do get denied uh, by the scorpions, but they're just going to flame wall and take out probably a scorpion at least. Yeah, one of them most likely, yes, does in fact go down, as well as the Villanilla Battlemaster and the Horde bonus ones up the side as well. Only a single Gat, so if Rage can snipe the Gat, his RPGs will be very, very effective against those Battlemaster Scorpions, though, going for the Battlemasters instead. Toxin Tractor, Quad being mixed in. Yeah, so this is stopping the, the, the teching of Rage, because it has to focus so much on making sure he can defend this massive army coming out. So the Quads are mixed in now, but no good against the, the Vet 2. Battle Masters going to be taking out the Scorpions as well. Rage losing a lot of units in the center. Yeah, the Scorpions definitely being thrown away here. And not exactly going for cost of gauges, but there is a Helix. Nice. However, size reveals it. Not a good move. He should have waited until it was full and then just moved it out because we're going to see a lot of quads being mixed in for Ray to deal with that Helix. Yeah, the quads are going to be able to be transitioned into now. And I'd say at least two arm stealers out from Rage, which means he can... Uh, pump those quads out quickly enough to deal with the helix, and the helix becomes a lot less useful once the, the surprise factor has worn off. But even then, it means that Rage has to invest a lot of his army in those quads, quads. so then his battle masters and his flame tanks will just be more effective. Exactly right. So, Rage has taken control of his oil, Derek. Size also took control of his. He has capped that. Oh, no, he has actually. No, he's still not capped. Um, a little bit surprising there. Size has had 
Really nice map control. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for his oil cap yet. He even just gone for a Lotus when he has a prop center, but he went Helix and Command Center. So definitely the, the prop center not the priority just yet. But Rage is actually getting some pretty good snipes with these quads. Uh, the Scorpions are getting some scrap and some vet. Which is nice to see, but at the same time, Horde bonus and Battle Masters moving up the side now. Still no movement from the Helix from sides, which I'm a little bit surprised about. You think you want to move it out as ASAP, but it just hasn't come yet. So this is a good mix. I like how Rage has a lot of quads, but not too many of them. Yeah. It's a good amount. You want Scorpions and you also want quads. You can deal with the RPGs and you can deal with the Helix, which is the important thing. Size, finally, is going to be grabbing up the Oil Derrick. Which is very, very nice. Increasing his, his funds just that little bit more. It's interesting actually seeing him go for a red guard cap. It's very rare you see Chinas do for that rather than just going for the Black Lotus cap and mixing in a lot of RPGs or rather Tang Hunters. I like that because they're going to have very, very uh, good trades against those Scorpion tanks. Not so much the quads, but there's a data bastards there and they're going to basically nullify those quads. Oh, going to get run into the garrison there. Rage has several RPG troops in there ready to go and that's going to really limit Sizes' mobility. But the RPGs could just take out the garrison so long as there's not a Jarman nearby. Here comes the flame tank. Will it get there in time? Gets no, the gets evac, the but he will maybe have to firewall them down. Not enough scorpions to defend. And another scorpion moving in, but look how huge this army is going back in the garrison. Fantastic play from Rage going in the garrison when the flame tank was denied and absolutely romping through this ground army here of size and getting so much veterancy across the board size lost so many units there a lot of battle masters a lot of tank hunters as well that's the sound of an arty striker here coming in will it be going for the units the sound of an arty strike his headsets are awesome they are indeed probably going for that garrison even it was annoying him quite a lot <laughs> Kills, I think, one Scorpion, one Quad, and there's the rest of the push coming out as well from Size. But that Garrison Deny was just so crucial because mm. it allows him to move in. Keep in mind, Size as the China Tank cannot get uh, Inferno Cannons or the new Cannons, so he will not be able to deal with those Garrisons with Artillery. But a lot of Quads here for Rage, probably too many of them. Battle Masters will just destroy them, especially once we do see Size get the Auto Loaders on the prop center, which he doesn't have yet. Yeah, probably wants to transition that prop center fairly shortly. You're gonna be pushing through the middle now, and that's a nice firewall. Not very effective against scorpions, but against quads, it definitely weakens them and will allow the battle master to snipe down one of them before getting repaired back on its base. Yeah, so he's gonna hold them off until some more battle masters can come out from size, and while size pushes through the middle. But on the top, two engagements going on at once, but this army is almost consisting of entirely quads. Only a single scorpion, but it's pretty vetted, pretty scrapped, and a fantastic flank may deny the war factory that will allow Rage to have more production than size. But these battle masters are just so strong against the quads, they're being demolished. Yeah, quads are not good against those vet two battle masters. Battle masters just ripping through them at the moment. Where the hell is the helix? What's it doing? Is it it's just is it gone oh, now? It must have been denied. It must have been denied at some point, yeah, by some quads. So, Sai's just going to keep pushing out now. He has a lot of battle masters. He's got the quads as well. That's a nice flame tank movement. He's going to kill the garrison and just keep pushing through Rage. Yeah, Rage not able to deny the War Factory having too many of those quads. And the battle masters not quite having any of the buffs, whether it be the Horde bonus auto loaders. But will still be very effective nonetheless. But that garrison is just so crucial. The flame tank being sniped backing it away for now. Yeah, he's going to be so the I mean, just Rage has been forced very, very far back into his base. Size just has such good map control and finally going for that prop center as well, that's gonna give him such an advantage over Rage. Rage is actually holding off incredibly well because Size has been mining from the third and the fourth supply and it's almost mined out apart from these patches here which are just as much rages as they are size. There yeah. is an anthrax bomb will deny the truck and perhaps some tanks marching through there. But Raid has incredible defense, and we may see some black markets come up soon. No, it doesn't even have his palace, no, so he's actually doesn't. stuck on that that, uh, that no tech there. But getting caught here by the Battle Masters and the Garrison on the side, there's a sneak attack for the block off there, meaning the Battle Masters cannot chase. Several of those Scorpions will survive that one, so nice defensive pop there from Raid. Just gonna be fine for that one. Anthrax bomb is still in effect, so it did take out several of the supply trucks, and here comes that GPS scrambler. Again, so crucial 
GLA Vanilla has some pretty good late game. You don't get as many cool stuff, but you just get more consistent of a faction overall, having those, the GPS Scrambler, the cheaper units and whatnot. And going for the old knife, fantastic play from Rage, but look how huge this army is from size, but he has no anti-infantry and no way of dealing with the garrison there. He may just lose the helix to that garrison. It actually, it's empty. There's nothing inside of the, the helix. There's yeah. no bunkers, at least not yet, no prop tower. Nothing at all. So Rage, oh please don't lose the Helix. Napalm Bomb! When's the when's the last time you actually shot a Napalm Bomb being used that effectively? And the Helix actually survives that one. Gonna be walking away. No issues. Big Battle Master now, Army now up to the side, but at the same time, Rage is gonna be shopping into the base of size. Yeah, but the issue with that is a single angry mob squad will just demolish all of those Battle Masters there, let alone just a handful of RPGs on this side here. The Helix cannot engage. It is too weak, and the Scorpions with the Vet and the scrapper very trading very very well lotus is revealing the gps scramble units and there is the engagement in the bottom here the scorpions are being demolished and forced away needs to get some rpgs or an angry mob definitely needs a way to deal with those battle masters scorpions are just not cost efficient even with those rockets the warp can make it tonight, but here comes the mind drop. That's going to be excellent, but probably won't be in time to deny the War Factory snipe there. The mines will prevent the retreat and will lose that army. But killing the War Factories is so crucial because it slows down their production. Does it indeed, too. So that's the last Scorpion going to be taken out there, as well as the quad. So Lotus is still chilling around just in the top there. So I'm not sure what exactly she's looking for, but probably going to be pushing out fairly shortly. Rage is doing a fantabulous job of holding on. Definitely, and now he's mining from the third supply, where Sizer's supplies are still going strong. So they're, they're going to be pretty similar on economy. Both players losing their all directs, but Rage going for a very central... Uh, tunnel well, network. Yeah, tunnel network. It's... it's Do you GPS scramble the worker? Is that a thing? No, because yeah. the tunnel network would have to be revealed, wouldn't it? The tunnel, yeah, the yeah. tunnel would be revealed. Unless it's upgraded with the, the camo net. No, it's not. No, it's not. So, look. Hasn't been dealt with yet. I mean, that's it. Wow. 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 Okay. So, I, I guess you get some swag points for destroying your own barracks and getting the tunnel network as well. Here's some RPGs now <laughs> against the... Um, Gets the Battle Masters and Red Guard, what? That was Guys, the, what are you doing? That <laughs> was the Red Guard from capping the old deck. Yeah. So living to serve a second purpose here. Yeah, I'm not su I'm not sure why size just didn't strike. deny it. But anyway, Artie Strike moving in onto the bottom. Probably gonna go for the supply on the bottom, taking out nice. and all the workers, which is nice. Scorpions on the side, sneak attack. Won't really cut off the, the Battle Masters much. And again, there is some mines there on the floor. Yeah, mines are all over the place now, so I think. Rage hopefully knows about them. Rage, Whoopsie. you remember those mines. What are you doing, buddy? Careful. That's why you beacon mines. He didn't beacon them and will lose. Doesn't lose a single scorpion. Ooh, lucky. Doesn't have the junk repair upgrade just yet, though, so he won't regenerate those. Terrace are moving in. Oh, wow, there's only one gat. Oh, but it's going to be enough. Yeah, that, that single gat, definitely a very crucial mix. Helix is again empty. Lotus will shut down one of the scorpions, but it was pretty low anyway. Helix not really able to contribute much, and the old Derek was actually captured by size. Wow, I thought it was denied. Yeah, I thought it was as well, but no, it was in fact captured, and Rage is still in this game, 100%. He's, he's starting to push back now, has destroyed that oil, Derek, so pretty even economy terms. Absolutely, and still no upgrades here from size. No idea why he hasn't gone for the auto loaders. I guess the prop tower is still there. Prop tower, the auto loaders, it, it costs 2,500. That's the cost of three Wait. battle masters so you get three less black uh, battle masters in exchange for all of them having a like a 25 percent firing rate buff and there's a mine dro drop on the side we'll cut off the no, e emp, emp but only landing on three of them not the best and the helix will just drive into the cause and get destroyed the flame napalm bomb wouldn't Doesn't have been get that effective the back door. no exactly and pushing through the right hand side was quite nice Look, Rage, I think he's still on his his No Palace tech. Yeah, I think he's on No Palace at the moment. He, he hasn't been able to transition. If he transitioned, he would have lost the game. So. Yeah, it's pretty expensive there indeed, but it would be fantastic to have the angry mob um, just to deal with those battle masters. And again, only a single gat, so he could snipe that very easily and have a hard time dealing with RPGs. Well, indeed, several of those battle masters are getting taken out now, and the tunnel network will also be denied on the side for Rage. Starting to lose... Uh, his, his supply on the side. The sides are still mining pretty damn strongly. Lotus going for the supply. Excellent work there. That will definitely lower the income of Rage, which wouldn't be a lot. Going for a cash deal, yeah. but there was no cash in there. Yeah, he stole yeah. about... Rage's macro is too good. Yeah, 250. So there's only 
one supply. I think that one is probably bugged out. Yeah, I don't think there's anything left on that. And these battle masters are getting quite low. Slice is actually out of cash. He is. Wow, so only and having... hackers, obviously. Yeah, only having the middle supply there, whereas an anthrax bomb will deny those trucks. So Rage, definitely in the game, but Slice has just a ridiculously huge army at this stage. Yeah, and that's the real danger here. Royal's Rage has been holding on, and now they're on more even cash terms. Good job denying those... Uh, Nine those supply trucks, that is very nice. He also has no way to deal with this army coming out from size. It's just too big at this point. And keep in mind, GGLA does have the, the cash bounty, so whenever you kill units, you get that money back. Yeah. So Rage doesn't need to be mining as much to keep up in economy, and that is incredibly crucial there. And I like the demo trap, that's fantastic. That could be so powerful against those slow grouped up, clumped up battle masters, especially because China Tank does not like building outposts because they are expensive. Lotus going to deny some of those scorpions perhaps, but at this stage, I do not see how Rage can mm. deal with that many. He only has one flame tank, so terrorists and RPGs may be able to just deny those battle masters. I think it's the only way, but I don't, know, I don't even know if Rage has a barracks at this point. I mean, he's gonna take out the command center, and I think with the command center goes all hope of Rage taking this game. There is a barracks on the floor there, but look how tiny the army is in comparison. Carpet Bomb only killing a single quad, not the best one. Splitting up his army, nice work going for the supply barracks and the... Oh wow, nice deny with the terrorist. Barracks is still alive as well. Yes, yeah, so he can build some more terrorists and RPGs. Getting caught in the middle, there is an ECM finally would be very nice against those rockets, but trading quite well. Lotus not able to get some denies in time, but Battle Masters on the flank. Yeah, Battle Masters are in the back now, and the Battle Masters from sides are also destroying the base of Rage, so even if this army sneaks through, I don't think it's really going to matter. Yeah, exactly. So the army has dwindled now, and there is still so many Battle Masters, which are just incredibly cost-effective. Size looks as though he will take this game... Unfortunately, Rage not having some more demo traps. That would have been amazing. Would have been absolutely great. Those are they are so slow moving because you can get nice demo traps down. Heroic Scorpion still surviving. Just gonna be trolling outside for as long as possible. Not exactly. Man goes down. Still holding on though. He does have the micro, but fantastic response leaving the carpet bomb to take out the sneak attack. It doesn't take out the sneak attack. Nope. The cliff saved it. Mm, I think it did. So another the helix is actually out as well. And the Arty Strike comes in now from Size, and Size is just going to be forcing back Rage until he loses. But it won't take that long. Getting some nice snipes. Yeah, I have to say, look at the buildings coming out from Size. It's actually sold a fair bit, I think, to get more Battle Masters or something. It doesn't actually have a lot of, of um, units, a lot of buildings on the field. But the yeah. EMP, excellent, will deny the tunnel. And the Helix is full of RPGs, and there's no quad. There's only these Scorpions. As good as his micro is, his hit-and-run attacks... There's just simply no anti-air, and the Battle Masters will just take out the buildings on force, and there is the Helix with the RPGs. We'll deny those. Scorpions, no problems at all. And this looks like it will be GG. Size walking away with yet another game, taking game two, moving to a 2-0 lead in this series. Yeah, Rage having a nice defense, but not enough to hold out against the economic edge of the size and just how, how cost-effective those those battle masters are rage really needed to have some palace tech he needed to get some scud launchers even a, a great against battle masters because they're so slow it's really hard to dodge those scud shots where if you look at gla mirrors buggies are incredibly fast and can dodge the scud launchers very easily but again it comes down to the fact that it's a pretty big investment and that it would get you behind in your army by a fair bit which rage was so desperately holding on to i would have liked to see him try but it was a very close game and a very well played here between Rage and Size here as we move on to game number three. Well, the general gentlemen, thanks for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ninth and the final game of the Zero Hour 2014 World Series. We are the General's Gentlemen, myself being Onage Machine. And myself being Archon Hawk, and we are hella excited this went all the way to the ninth game. Exactly, I do love seeing those even, those close, those tense, those tactical, strategic, micro-intense, best of nine series here. We are wrapping up this tournament with an Air Force Mirror. What a way to end a best of nine series in this tiebreaker. Double barracks. From both of our players, what are the spy drones revealing? They're revealing not a lot here for Rage, no. but Size's spy drone, also not a lot. Disappointing. Not a lot. <laughs> yeah, disappointing uh, spy drone placement there. Unfortunate, but it reveals the oh my airfield. God. airfield. 
What? No? Cancelled? Yes? No? Maybe? Tell me. Anyway, Mr. Defender just coming out for both players. They're doing the same thing. One airfield got cancelled. The other one did not get cancelled. People are still going for King Raptors and... I don't think he picked up all the all the missile defenders. No, he didn't. Oh, I don't even oh, know. Oh wow, look no. at the Miss Micro there. No, 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 Blake, your MacBook what? noob. What? That's not Miss Micro. That's the Rangers to deny the missile defenders oh, of rage. Oh, nice as well. Looks like the the Chinook does run away from that one, and there's going to be point laser defense uh -oh. here as well. But three of them is going to be enough. Going to be backing away from this one. So the nope. Rangers moving in. Three wow. missile defenders is never enough. It's never enough against point laser defense no. here. But going for the power, good choice there. Denying the power would be fantastic. The Dozer is repairing that one while the missile defenders here from range want to snipe down that Chinook. Retaining my camera, not moving it, may lose the chip. A huge yes, blow. Down. Miss Micro there from size. Ranger on the back is going to weaken those missile defenders down, but not in time. The Rangers from Raid looks as though it denied the missile defenders of size, but maybe he just packed it up and moved it away. Yeah, so more at the back to deny the Chinooks, and look at that, the Dozer also goes down. Size losing his Dozer and a Chinook. Yes, yeah, size definitely having a decisive lead thus far. Pretty big setback here, but still going. Double command centers, which is uh, nice to have in USA mirrors because those are hunting is really brutal. It also then gives lots of spy drones. Okay, so Size did actually go for that airfield. So both Size and Rage have gone through the airfield. Rage got his first, but he hasn't actually built anything. Oh no, he has. Is that is that hangar belly open? What's he got? King Raptor, of it course. It must be a King Raptor. But the rain, the missile defenders can perhaps deny that one. Yeah, if, it looks if like they... they're moving in. Oh, there's two Raptors. Two what? Raptors are out, so one of them must have taken out all no, the... Didn't what? take out the Chinook, because they were both together, so the point laser defense is actually too much for the King Raptors to but take. But here it comes by itself, we'll take it down. You've got to make sure the Chinooks are together, otherwise the Raptors will take them down in a single strike. Size bringing on the King Raptors to Rage. Can hold out more and more King Raptors are being rallied towards the base here, but King Raptor from Rage as well, denying the Dozer, I believe. There is another one moving in. Will it deny it? It will not because it was moving. Nice moving. work. Excellent. You move your Chinooks or you keep them together. King Raptors are being thrown across the map. It's so hard to know who is who. They're pink versus purple. It's point laser defense. He uses point ah, laser defense. Excellent. Ah, the plays. Good job, that size. That is some fantastic micro into this Air Force mirror using the King Raptors point laser defense to nullify the Raptors missiles, but we'll lose one of those rage on the back foot having less Chinooks and more and more Raptors from Rage are marching in. It's a lot of Raptors. It it's is. a hell of a lot of Raptors, but there's Raptors from size as well. How's size going on the Chinook front? He's, he's, he's alright. He's got three of them. He may go for the supply. He does. He gets it, but he does not because the Chinook with a point laser defense kept it alive. This game is just so crazy and so tense. Loses oh, another, another Chinook. Chinook. Size, you're behind. Yeah, Raid playing this one very, very well, but size not able to deny the supply is a huge Huge blow, no war factories for no Avengers. Rangers, they're gonna battle it out here. That is Rage's Rangers going for the cap and Sizes Ranger. Can it deny this one? It cannot. Rage gets the all Derek in the top here. Looks as though Size won the top, allowing him to get that one. There is a Chinook going for the middle supplies and Rage is rallying more and more. Raptors into the base here off size. It's very, very well timed now. He's blowing when the Chinooks are stopped and the airfield doesn't go down. That's unfortunate for size. He mistimed that. Yeah, he didn't get the one and that was crucial because that would have prevented the Raptors from landing. That would have probably won size of the game had the Raptors got the airfield. A huge, huge blow here. It's hard to say who has this game. I mean, look, size is on the back foot for now, but he has four Raptors. Raid only has two. The, the four, oh no, he has two airfields. Oh, that's clever. And, and size, size calls, calls the, the GG. Raid is our winner of the 2014 uh, World Series. Damn, that was probably the most intense four minutes 45 of my I life. I reckon. So, oh, that was awesome. Such good micromanagement of the point laser defense. Size absolutely getting bashed here. Rage having almost double the income, getting the early dozer. Chinook Snipe definitely allowed him to snowball mm. into the Raptor production here. Size losing the Chinook to uh, inattention was uh, definitely a huge blow. And it really just goes to show how unforgiving these USA mirrors are, especially Air Force mirrors. Oh, God, yeah. But that'll wrap this one up in this whole series. So thank you for watching the Best of Nine series here. Hosted by the General's Gentleman, or rather casted by the General's Gentleman, hosted by the excellent folks here at GameReplays.org. Thanks a lot, as always, for hosting this. And I'm not sure what prizes they get, but they will get some money of some kind. And until the 2015 World Series, if Zero Hour is still alive and kicking, but hey, I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be. Anyway, 
until next time catch you later bye guys